Hey guys, Happy New Year! We're gonna just jump right into Cielito Lindo. So I want everybody to look at the top of the page. We're gonna go over three things. First, what's your tempo? We've got a quarter note at 128, which means you're gonna set your metronome to 128 beats. And we're gonna make sure that every quarter note lines up with the beat, okay? Next, we're gonna look at our time signature, which means we've got a 3-4. Three, 3-4, four. Three, four, it means, as all of you probably remember, three beats per measure, and the four, it means quarter note. One quarter note gets a beat, right? So you're just gonna count along 128, each quarter note, three beats per measure. Next, we got our key signature. So you all have your D major scales ready, I know. So we're just gonna do a quick review again. We have an F sharp and we have a C sharp, right? I'm gonna play two octave scale for you so you can see where the F sharp goes on the E string. But as you remember, we have D, E, F sharp, right? Then G right next to it, BFF. Then A, B, C sharp, and another BFF. And then we're gonna go open E. And there's your F sharp, right? F sharp on the E string. Yeah, G, right next to it, BFF's there. And then A, right? And that's your highest note. You don't have to go any higher. You've got your key signature, you've got your tempo, you've got a clear idea of how to start your piece. What are the rules, right? Next thing you gotta do before you actually start playing, you gotta check and see where are your dynamics? How loud? How soft am I gonna play? What's my plan? Where are the slurs? Where are the ties, right? So we're gonna talk a little bit about bow technique. We're gonna talk a little bit about how to map, how to plan, okay? So just get ready. We're gonna try and go through it real quick. We got a basic travel plan of mezzo forte. The whole time, we're basically playing medium loud, okay? So for your bow, for your bow control, you are using about this much bow. You're only going up to the middle mostly, right? If you're gonna play a forte, you're gonna use more of the bow and you're gonna move it faster for forte. For mezzo forte, you're mostly moving it like that. For mezzo piano, which you're gonna have at some point, you're gonna move it not to the middle of the bow, but more here, you know? You're gonna be like kinda not too low down in the bow, but not too high up in the middle. It's gonna be just kinda like a mini mezzo forte, right? Because it's one step down, so it's just a little bit softer. So I want you all to just go ahead and circle wherever you have a dynamic marking. That means mezzo forte and measure one. That means mezzo forte at measure nine. That means mezzo piano, there you go, a step softer at measure 33. And then you have forte, which you're gonna use now more bow at measure 41, okay? And then you're gonna stay loud until you get to measure 64. Right there, you're gonna go back to mezzo forte. From mezzo forte, you're gonna keep going until you start doing a crescendo right, get louder, at measure 69, and you're gonna finish in the last line of the piece, big forte with a big fortissimo up bow for the last two notes, okay? So that's your map for how loud, how soft you're gonna play the piece. Next, you gotta pay attention to where are your slurs, where are your ties? So for those who are not clear yet, a slur is when you take two separate different notes, but you put them on one bow, right? So look at your first two notes. First two notes, it's a slur. You have D and F sharp, right? But you don't play them separate, you play them together, right? So you have to plan for that, you have to be ready. A tie though, tie, you are not playing different notes. You're playing the same note, but technically, you usually have it in different measures, so you gotta connect them a little bit, right? Because you don't wanna separate. So if you're looking like in uh, measure seven, right? You've got a dotted half note D tied to a quarter note D in measure eight, right? So that means you count D, two, three, one, two, three, okay? That means that you're not gonna go one, two, three, Staccato, 
right? Tai means that you're actually going to connect those. One, two, three, one, two, three. Whenever you're holding notes, whether it's a dotted half note or rests or um, the, the ties, you want to make sure that you've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Don't stop counting. It will save you, okay? You need to make sure if you're playing the first line, I'm just going to go, go ahead and do it. So it's one, two, three, 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 one, rest, rest, bomb, okay? You don't want to stop counting when you see a rest. That is like falling into a hole. You don't want to do that, okay? So my recommendation to all of you, just put little numbers over it or put like a little line so you remember to count. Also for the fingers, put the fingerings, put the note names. It doesn't hurt, it actually helps. The more information you put on your page when you're practicing, the faster you're gonna remember because you don't have to remind yourself up here. It's all on your page, okay? So real quick with the time that we have left in this video, I just wanted to touch on some little parts real quick just to make clear what you need to look out for. So most important, we're gonna look at two spots, measure 40, right? You got your eighth notes there. So I want you all to remember, when you're gonna start that phrase, you're coming from an up bow D, right? I want you all to try and get ready for those eighth notes in the lower half, and you're going to be thinking about making a forte with that. So when you're, before you even start playing eighth notes, think about that forte long note. That's what's gonna get you there, right? Before you jump, you gotta think about where you're gonna jump, okay? So we're gonna start on measure forte, uh, measure 40. Right, and you see what I did there? I started with a little bow, then more, then more, then more. And I did the whole bow for that. So a couple times. So I started with a little bow and I kept adding, but it was all in the lower half. You saw that, right? Right? And you want to make your bow hair really flat. Because you want it to ring and you want it to have a really nice, strong, confident sound. All right? So that's measure 40 to measure 41, okay? It's a big, big part. That's the first forte in the piece. You wanna make it ring, you wanna make it sound. Next is measure 62, okay? So I'm just gonna to go to measure 57 real quick to get up into it. So you have an F sharp, open E, G, and you have a tie there, right? So we're gonna hold it for two measures, which is three and three, six beats. Two, three, four, five, six. Now here it is, here's the spot. 61, one, two, three, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do staccato up, right? We're gonna do a little bit of a brush up, and then we're gonna continue after that. So it's gonna sound like this. 61, one, two, three. Right? Because that's the next part of that phrase. G, F sharp, D. Another tie. So you want to make sure that you don't connect it. Uh. All right, cool. So there's lots of things to cover and unfortunately there's a limited amount of time to get through everything. So hopefully you'll be able to catch some of the melodic phrasings, some of the, I would say, dynamic ideas of singing in the demonstration that I'm gonna give you with the metronome playing in the back, all right? But I do want you to think about, again, listening for how your playing mirrors your voice. And for those of you who think that you can't sing very well or you can't sing like at all, uh, just find a, you know, a private room or something, go to your room, just, just try it, just sing a little bit. Nobody's gonna judge you, nobody's gonna think about it either, you know? but it's just gonna change your playing completely, night and day, all right? Go ahead, try and sing some of the music, play it, 
play it back, do your analysis, draw your crocodiles if you need to, you know, just make sure that you're doing the work. The more that you uh, put into this, the more you're going to get out of it, right? All right, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of you real soon, hopefully coming up in February. So I hope you stay safe, stay well, and practice, practice, practice. All right, see you guys.